Alright guys, we're going to be doing something actually pretty cool in this tutorial here. We're going to be constraining this camera here onto this object here. Now let's take a look at the camera. Let's hit control zero. I set up this view on that. So I just selected the camera, then hit control zero. Now I'm going to hit P to play. And you'll notice that it's kind of like a first person view here. Didn't spend too much time setting up the view. But as you can see, it simulates that it is a first person view. And that that's your weapon there. And you know, you're gonna be moving around the world. So how can we get this camera to um, to track onto the object? Well, it's actually incredibly simple. One of the ways you can do it is just select the object, or the camera first, then the object, then you hit Control P. I used Shift on the camera, and then on the object. What I did was I, I held Shift when I selected the camera, and held it when I selected the object. And now I'm just gonna hit Control P, make parent, now they're parented so if I were to move the crossbow the camera would follow which is perfect because it gives like a first person view type you know look to it so let's um let's make it look kind of cool let's add some movement to this crossbow so you know we can actually see the effect of the tracking of the camera you guys should know how to do this from the previous lesson so I'm just gonna hit add on all three of these under logic, just hit F4 to get there. And then we're gonna change the first sensor here from always to keyboard and change the key. We're gonna define this key has forward, the up arrow. And I can even name this to um, move um, forward like that. And then I'm just gonna left click, drag and drop these little spears onto each other and you see the little spear then the indented one so just do that uh, then we're going to change um, the accolators rotation so what we need to do here is take the z-axis and give it uh, maybe a positive or actually no we're just making it go forward what am I thinking we're making it go forward so we're gonna take the x-axis positive alright so under location here L O C. This first one is X. Second is is um Y. Third is Z or Z you would call it. So X Y and Z. All right. First one point one. Now if I were to go into the camera, just like that, hit Control Zero, hit P, um, hit forward on your keyboard. And now look, we're moving forward. Looks kind of cool, doesn't it? All right. So now let's um let's set up another so we can make it look. Even more cool. Alright. I'm going to set up another one here. And I'm going to change it to keyboard. From always to keyboard. Set the key. I'm going to define it. has the left arrow key. And I'm going to make these connections here. Wait. First need to hit add on the other ones. So I can have some stuff to work with. Alright. I'm just going to drag and drop these little lines. Then I'm going to add a rotation, which is ROC. And I'm going to give it a Z rotation, okay? So that's blue right there. And it's the third one to the right over here. It's X, X, right over here, Y, and then Z. So just select Z, and then change it to something like point 0.1. All right, and then let's see if it went into the right direction, to the left direction. So it's like the camera, hit Control Zero, hit, hit P, and then it goes left, like that. Maybe way too much movement there. Um, one tenth of that would be good, I guess. So let's select the object again under Logic, and let's change that to point zero one. Then go back into the camera, hit Control Zero once you have the camera selected, then hit P, hit your left arrow, and you'll notice. Look at that. The, um, the crossbow is moving around. Let's um, create double that speed. Let's actually select the crossbow. Under logic again, let's, let's double that speed. I think it's a little too slow. 0 0.02. Alright. And let's add another one. A third, um, third action for a key. Hit add on all three. Change this one from always to keyboard, key, the right key, 
all right the right arrow key on your keyboard and then to set up these connections to flow all the way to the right of the new ones and then negative point zero two and the z axis for the rotate all right now now just hit select the camera and hit control zero if you haven't already then hit p and it goes right and left it rotates and it goes forward so you know I mean it's kinda cool so far you know, not too bad we could have like a little um cool looking game going on here you know but I'm spending too much time just going around here it looks, it looks pretty cool anyways you know that's how you do it I'm, I'm gonna have another tutorial soon and I'll teach you guys some more stuff about the Blender game engine anyways go to RazorWorld.com you know subscribe um, subscribe to my page, you know, I mean, if you go to RazorWorld.com, there's a lot of tech news, articles, reviews, all that good stuff that you're, that you're going to want. If you care about your hardware, you want to go to RazorWorld.com and then visit their YouTube page. And thanks for watching.